Hey y'all, PD here from the Myrtle Beach Bible Bank. Hey, listen up. You must pray if you want to see breakthrough. The Bible says, in all things pray. Not some things, all things. So right now in our, our, our ministry-wide uh, fast that we're doing, uh, we're all praying and fasting while immersed daily in the book of Nehemiah. Let's take a look at Nehemiah today for a few minutes. Uh, it says in Nehemiah 4.4, And Nehemiah prayed, Hear, O our God, for we are despised. Turn their taunts upon their own heads and give them a, a, a prey in a land of their captivity. So you see there in verse 4 that we find three words that are, are vitally important to remember. We have to remember these when we're trying to stand through a storm. It says, and Nehemiah prayed. So how did he respond to all the attacks that came against him? The, the laughing, the, the anger, the rage, the judgment, the criticism, being told that his desired goal was impossible. He prayed, right? So let me ask you something. What would happen if you prayed every single time that you felt afraid or intimidated? What if you prayed every time that you were offended or every time someone hurt your feelings? What if you prayed immediately after every time some kind of judgment or criticism came against you? Would your life be different? Would you be able to withstand those storms better? Of course you would, you know? We can learn an important lesson from Nehemiah's prayer. Here... Oh, our God, he said, for we are despised. Turn their taunts upon their own heads and give them for a prey in a land of captivity. Notice that Nehemiah, he didn't go after his enemies himself. He asked God to deal with them. His attitude was, I'm doing your will. You told me to build this wall, and I'm busy building it. You're going to have to take care of my enemies, Lord. Many times, you know, God tells us to do something or he gives us an assignment and we begin doing it, but then the enemy comes against us. And when we turn to fight him, we turn away from God. You know, suddenly the enemy has all of our attention and we spend our time fighting him instead of praying and asking God to intervene. You know, Nehemiah knew better than to let his enemies command his focus, okay? He was aware of them, but he kept his eyes on God and the job God called him to do. And he simply prayed and he asked God to deal with those who were attacking him. Hallelujah. Trust in him. Trust in God. What do you need to pray about, y'all? When the enemy attacks, don't take your focus off the task is placed before you a task. So keep your eyes on it. Pray and trust him to take care of the enemy. Hey y'all, subscribe below uh, to this YouTube channel. Uh, like the video. Share it with your friends on Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. Tell them to subscribe, like, and share as well. And as always, take care of yourselves and others. Jesus loves you. And Kelly and I, we love you to the moon. Remember.